Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, dairy industry restructuring, raw milk pricing methods bill. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak on this during the second reading, and I must uh, acknowledge uh, the experience that is on the uh, Primary Production Select Committee uh, with both uh, the chair and, and a previous chair and also other people within the, the agricultural industry. Uh, the, the, the point I want to make, I won't take a too, too long a call, I think the matter has been canvassed pretty well, uh, is that we listened to submissions and the submitters were a number of the processors who take milk uh, that is made available under legis uh, regulation and legislation, 600 million litres that is, is available. There's actually 21 people who actually um, processes that take milk and out of those uh, 13 uh, take 4 million litres or less. So uh, quite, a f quite a few. Uh, the argument really came down to on submissions was, uh, was there justification for the principle of a farm gate price, Fonterra farm gate price, plus 10 cents per milk solids. And um, I think it's quite clear that the evidence came down on the favour, favourable side, that that should be the way it's run. Uh, that is explained why there is a premium on the farm gate price, <coughs> Mr Speaker, is because of the seasonality of milk production and it was important to square up those shoulders. So the auction system that's uh, talked about in here, there's a mechanism for an auction system and on that basis uh, we look forward to that being progressed in an appropriate time. Um, no doubt the Minister was given sound advice that uh, there needed to be more work done on that and uh, we look forward to that being progressed and uh, this bill does make that provision and I look forward to uh, getting into the committee stages of this bill and examining some of the clauses that have been introduced but I take pleasure in commending this bill to the House.